Hello, welcome to Art Goes to School of Delaware Valley. This educational program has been brought to you by Art Goes to School, making fine art accessible to elementary school students since 1962. Today we'll be talking about animals in art. Animals have been a favorite subject in art for thousands of years. Artists have chosen to paint, sculpt, or use ink to portray different animals for many reasons. We're going to begin with some of the oldest artwork and move forward to art created in modern times. As we take a look at the following depictions of animals, think about how art has changed over time. Prehistoric Cave Paintings In France, on September 12, 1940, 18-year-old Marcel Ravidal and his three friends went exploring. They accidentally discovered a cave when his dog, whose name was Robot, fell into a hole. When they climbed in to help him, they noticed that the cave walls were covered with hundreds of amazing paintings of animals. They ran back and told their teacher about their discovery, and the Lasco cave paintings became famous. So why did artists paint these animals over 20,000 to 30,000 years ago on the walls of dark caves? Animals were important subjects to people back then, because instead of staying in one place, People moved constantly to follow the animals they hunted for food. Maybe the paintings were done to record their hunting trips, or symbols for the types and quantity of animals in the area, or maybe even for religious reasons. The outline of the animal was scratched into the rock with a sharp tool, and the paint was made using crushed rocks or charcoal mixed with animal fat. Instead of using a paintbrush, artists used their hands, sticks, and blew through hollow reeds to paint the images. The earliest woodblock illustration was made in the 6th century in China. Woodblock printing was used thousands of years as a great way to make many copies of an animal or any other image from a single carved piece of wood. The Rhinoceros, by German artist Albrecht Dura, is a woodblock print. Picture the kind of stamp that you place on an ink pad and then press onto paper. The lines of the image are raised above the flat surface, so the ink goes only onto the lines. To create the rhino, the artist had to carve away everything else except for these lines or what we call the negative space. This way the ink would stick only to the raised lines or positive part of the image. How are these images different? The rhino we know now is a woodcut, but the hare, or rabbit, is a painting. Both have texture, but one looks softer than the other. Both are by the same German artist. Albrecht Dura. In the 1500s, artists still had to make their own paint. Much like the cave artist, they found the colors they needed in nature, which is why older paintings rarely have vibrant colors like the ones we see today. They used the ground-up natural material mixed with raw egg yolks or even oil and water, allowing the paintings to hold up longer over time. Animals and Emotions By using watercolor for the sky and ocean instead of oil paint, the horse, frightened by lightning painting by Eugene Delacroix, seems to glow with color. He was able to capture the animal's movement and emotion through diagonal or zigzag lines, which is very hard to do in art. In The Peaceable Kingdom, the people on the right side of the group are dressed the way the artist dressed as a Pennsylvania Quaker. They are talking to the Lenai Lenape Native Americans. How do you know the artist wants peace between the two groups of people? What clues does he give you? Also, 
The animals don't look as realistic as the rabbit you saw earlier, which was made more than 300 years before this painting. Edward Hicks is what we call a folk artist, since his art didn't show a lot of formal art training. Folk art captures the culture of his time and community. He created more than 60 versions of this painting. Unlike the frightened horse painting, this horse is a sculpture by Emmanuel Fremier and carries a rider, St. Joan of Arc. It is currently located outside of the Philadelphia Museum of Art, stands straight and tall compared to the frightened horse, and is over 23 feet high. It was carved out of granite and painted gold. Compare the woodblock carving of the rhinoceros to the carving of this statue. Both removed the negative space, or what would not be part of the sculpture. Tiger in a Tropical Storm, surprised by French artist Henri Rousseau. If you hadn't seen the title of this work, would you have guessed it anyway? Do you think the tiger is surprising another animal? Or that the tiger is being surprised by the storm? Can you see the flashes of lightning? This artist's style is called primitive because he had no formal art training. While primitive is similar to the folk art we saw with Edward Hicks' Peaceable Kingdom, it is even less realistic. The artist was actually a toll booth collector who had never been in a jungle and got his inspiration for the painting from the zoo and the botanical gardens near his home in France. Compare the tiger to the horse painting below. How are they alike and how are they different? After the invention of paint in a tube in the 1800s, colors became brighter and artists didn't have to stay in a studio all day to mix their paints. As an expressionist, Franz Marc loved colors and didn't think art had to be realistic. Yellow is not a color for cows naturally. For this artist, yellow conveyed peace and happiness. The cow expresses joy in its surroundings. Here, we also see another fantastical animal in the form of a metal gecko. Many of these geckos are made in Haiti from recycled large steel oil drums that are cut down their sides and then pounded to flatten their rounded surfaces. Animal shapes are then cut out of the metal. The edges are sanded and then they are colorfully painted to hang on the walls. Now it's time to test your memory. Choose which pieces of art belong to each phrase below. Have fun with the rest of the activities on the following pages too. We hope you enjoyed today's lesson about animals in art, brought to you by Art Goes to School.